Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Luck Light Plays. We're continuing our run through of Destiny of an Emperor as part of 8 bit obscurity. And uh, here we are in the last part of the Shu Kingdom, Chengdu, which is a major, major plot point in uh, the story, and where we face down Liu Zhang, who turned traitor on us and now wants to destroy our army. Which we're obviously not going to let him do. So let me uh let me go to the report section and see what we're facing with. Liu Zheng himself is not that strong. Neither his is uh this guy. Seems like none of these guys are real solid fighters, but they just have a lot of soldiers, so the standard tactics apply, I suppose. We'll just go based on who has the most hit points, and uh, take any tricks as they come. Which we don't seem to be having too much trouble based on the amount of critical hits we're making. And that seemed like almost a waste of time there. Alright, Gui Huan uh, is a spell I picked up while I was walking back. Uh, that sends me back to where uh, Liu Bei is, so it's essentially an escape. So I don't want to use that. But I do want to use that. I believe that's the attack power upgrade. Yep. So we'll be able to pound even harder. So I'm gonna go after this guy, because he seems to be the smartest out of everybody. Not saying much. Oh yeah, he's hitting a lot harder now. These guys are gonna drop pretty fast. Ugh, that spell seems to be not working very well in this battle. Keeps wearing off. Yeah, so I guess I didn't really need strategy on that one. Shoe is settled. Alright. Chengdu. Capital of Shoe. We did it. So let's do the usual town things. Go to the inn, check the shops. See if we can buy any new weapons. Alright, alright. Yeah, we did pre become pretty awesome, didn't we? Anyway, let's invite Mr. Liu Bei. Oh, I only need 39 experience, huh? Check the weapon shop, see if there's anything new. Buy battle axes and chainmail. Let's definitely do that. It'll increase our strength by a good amount. And increase our defense as well. Alright, very good. I'm gonna have to sell some stuff. Once I figure out where. I don't think there's one in this place. I may have passed it. Down here. Alright, there we go. Everybody's equipped. Is this an item shop? Yes, it is. Okay, good. So let's sell all this crap. 
Oops. Don't you want to buy my shiny red horse? Now, where am I supposed to go next? I don't remember where it is. I'll be totally honest with you. I have to find a weaponsmith. Uh, they're gonna tell me to go to this weaponsmith uh, right when I go up there, and then I'm gonna be like, uh, who, what? Oops, wrong one. No. There we go. Alright, let's go get our next orders. An old swordsmith is coming. Oh god. He's been looking for you. He's been saying something about some swords. You know, it's good that a swordsmith would be talking about swords and not, like, armor. I'm a swordsmith. I sell armor. What? So, I have to find this thing. So, we're gonna be do doing some walking here. And some fighting. If I don't find it at the end of the episode, I will start the next episode right in front of it, and I'll know. And this gives me a chance to level up a bit, so, hey. More strength. And we captured that guy. And he joined us. And we captured this guy. Yeah, that's... That's fine. We'll get him off the map, too. And of course, I'm never gonna get to anywhere if I'm gonna be in place every three seconds. Yeah, I'll pick him up too. Yan Yan's actually rather important. Jeez, fighting everybody. And I'm caught off guard. That's great. So apparently I'm just going to be hung up here. I'll get him off the map too. Great. Alright, I think it's down here somewhere. I'm not sure where. No. I'm gonna go through the cave again. And this time without, uh, pot smoking. I feel like it's, like, off in a corner that I just never went to. That's weird. I thought I opened that. Hmm. I'm gonna have to check that out later. I glitched my game. There is actually a glitch that happens in this game every once in a while, where chests refill themselves and empty out if you have two two tacticians in your group. So hopefully I didn't break it. I'll check it out in between episodes and see what happens. I'll let you know. Actually, there might be an easier way to check it out. Oh, nope, it's not down there. Alright. I feel like I should remember where this place is, and I don't. And it makes me feel bad. It doesn't help that I'm in fights every three seconds.
sure. You can get off the map, too. You can actually, uh, fill up your reserve to a maximum capacity, and then have to start deleting people. It's kind of funny. Apparently, there's only so much room in your, in your army for these guys. Because I did that once, I tried to get every single guy, and it, uh, pretty much told me to stop. <laughs> in so many words. Okay, seriously. Is this really getting on my nerves now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, for... Mm. Really? It's, it's every single general, too. Like, they all know I have to get to a certain part, and they're all trying to stop me. Okay. Put this down here somewhere, maybe? Yep, great. I don't... retreat. Whatever. No, this is the area right in front of, uh... down here. Yeah, it's down here. It's down and around. <coughs> and unfortunately, you have to do this. You can't just, you know, skip it. So, and do it later. You have to do the weapon forging. And have to fight every general in the world between Chengdu and here. Alright. Take many days. You may want to attend the other affairs while I work on the swords. Cool. Let's get out of here. Everybody's gonna use this spell now. I already did that. I just gave him the iron. Now what do I do? Do I have to walk out and in again? Maybe I have to... Do I have to go back now? Oh yeah. Alright, well this time I know where it is, and... I can warp there faster. So let's buy some gull wings. Let's buy a whole bunch. This is the random fight episode, everybody. And the stumble around in the dark part. <laughs> Fortunately, I gotta walk a bit more. Warp to that castle right next to it. Oh, it's these guys from back in the day. Alright, so we're gonna go back to the weapon place one more time, see if there's something that I missed. If not, I will figure out what I'm doing wrong, and then on the next episode we will progress. We won't be stuck in this loop. So, let's see if I can get there without... Alright, good. 
Oh, see? Yeah, please forgive me, I made five beautiful swords. Name them Bo Ye, Nui Long, Ching Long, Ching Guang, and Wang Shang. But a band of those yellow scarves came and stole them. I thought we'd get rid of those guys. There's nothing I could do. So, I'll find them throughout the throughout the game. They're the best weapons in the game. So, back to Chengdu. Oh, here we go. There will be peace in Jingzhou and Xu. Cao Cao supports the Emperor in Wei. Sensei is ruling Wu, and I rule Xu. We must maintain the balance of power to preserve peace. This country is too vast for me to control alone. Therefore, I charge you, Guan Yu, with the administration of Changsha, and you, Zhang Fei, with Guiyang Castle. It is the only way to ensure peace. Ensure spelled. Well, I guess you could do it that way. Yeah, sure. So, I have lost Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. Alright. I think at this point is a good place to stop because Cao Cao dying always means bad. So, uh, on the next episode, we will continue and we will enter. Uh, we're gonna start entering the parts that the game takes liberties with the story. This is kind of the breaking point where the story ends and the game takes its own story because once again, Liu Bei does not win the war. Um,. So I will be describing that on the next episode. Uh, so, my name is Lucklight, thank you for watching, and have a good one.